You are listening to The View from Laura's Window, a podcast where life is explored through positive Christian thoughts. Everyone has a window, and each window has a different view. Here, I hope you will find the view to be encouraging, inspirational, and useful as you walk through your daily journey. Sometimes our view may not always be clear or focused, but through this podcast, I hope you can have a much better perspective. So open up your windows, your hearts, and your thoughts to the encouraging view from Laura's perspective. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the podcast. I am Laura, your host, and I am so glad that you are here listening in. It is Monday, and I want to call today something like a motivational Monday. Maybe you've had a bad day. Maybe um, you've had a great day, but you know somebody that's not had a good day. I just want to share this with you, and maybe it'll help somebody out there. Um, Today's episode number 39, let's see, I want to call Motivational Monday. So the reasons... There are many reasons of why I started writing a blog, and then I went from the blog to the podcast. And you know, every blogger has a voice. Everyone that doesn't blog, like everybody out there has a voice. They have their own opinions, they have their own thoughts. And with bloggers, that's why we write. That's why we share. We want to be heard because we have something, we think we have something important to say. And the view from Laura's window, it's taken many twists and turns over the past several years, but I've tried to stay focused on one main goal, to stay positive. And it's whether I write for fun or share my photos or inspire with a a Lauraism or anything that I would put out there or just simply share my personal thoughts. It's all deliberate. It's all about finding my voice. And I think to the key to um, unlocking our creative potential is to always take the next step to finding our uniqueness, finding our voice, developing our voice, understanding our voice, and eventually sharing that voice with others. So I want to share with you today, um, let me see, let me get my notes here. It is um, things that I want you to focus on. Uh, maybe throughout the rest of the week. And uh, the first one is, it's called the paradoxal commandments. And it goes like this. People are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends, and true enemies succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honestly and frankness may make you vulnerable, but be honest and be frank anyway. The biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest men and women with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs, but follow only top dogs. Fight for a few underdogs anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help, but may attack if you do help them. Help people anyway. Give the world the best you have and you'll get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you have anyway. So that was one thing that I'd found somewhere on the internet. And I, I just, I just thought it was really good to, to just push forward. And, you know, even though you know what's going to happen, do it anyway. If it's something good, do it anyway. Let's see. This, this one is, it's a quote. Um, For every minute you are angry, you lose 60 seconds of happiness. And isn't that so true? That was from Ralph Waldo Emerson. This one is, I don't know, this was an unknown. I don't know who wrote this one. Love is that condition 
in which the happiness of another person is essential to your own. Wow, isn't that great? Folks are usually about as happy as they make their minds up to be. Let me read that again. Maybe you can figure out who it is that said this. Folks are usually about as happy as they make their minds up to be. That was from Abraham Lincoln. Great quote. Time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. And I know I've heard that one before. And there's a little bit of sense in that. And then sometimes, no, I think I waste too much time. And maybe you realize you do too. Here's another one. It's so hard to forget pain, but it's even harder to remember sweetness. We have no scar to show for happiness. We learn so little from peace. That one's a little, let me read it again. It's so hard to forget pain, but it's even harder to remember sweetness. We have no scar to show for happiness. We learned little from peace. That one's the one to think of them. Happiness in intelligent people is just the rarest thing I know. That was from Ernest Hemingway. Let's see. The seven social sins are wealth without work, pleasure without conscience, knowledge without character, commerce without morality, science without humanity, worship without sacrifice, and politics without principle. You can agree or disagree with that one. Uh, I didn't write it. I just found it. Here's one. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Say it again. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. And I, I really like that one. Let's see. Um, every man has his secret sorrows, which the world knows not. And oftentimes we call a man cold when he is only sad. That was from Harry Wadsworth Longfellow. Let me read it again. Every man has his secret sorrows, which the world knows not. And oftentimes we call a man cold when he is only sad. And that one is so true. Man, some of these quotes are just so profound. I wish I could have thought of them. Um, this one, happiness, happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. Count your age by friends, not years. Count your life by smiles, not tears. And I've heard that one. They say John Lennon said that one. Here's another a longer one, and I'll read that and then close. Promise yourself. Promise yourself this. To be so strong that disturb your peace of mind. To talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet. To make all your friends feel that there is something in them to look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true, to think only the best, to work only for the best, and to accept only the best, to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own, to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future, to wear a cheerful countenance all the time and give every living creature you meet a smile. That one is hard to do. To give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others. To be, to be too large for worry, too noble for anger, and too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. To think well of others and to proclaim this fact to the world, not in loud words, but great deeds. To live in faith that the whole world is on your side, so long as you are true to the best that is in you. And I'm going to leave you with that. And I'm hoping that some of these quotes that I have uh, uh, said here today on the podcast on Motivational Monday has um, somehow one of them possibly has uh, reflected on you and made your face smile, made you feel warm inside. I uh, hit a certain point where maybe you were having a bad day and it uh, just cheered you up a little bit. So I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, what 
I want to do now is I'm going to let you go, but I do want you to know that the view from Laura's window has been going on for quite a while. This is, I've just been doing it on and off with the podcast, but you can find me. Just look me up, The View from Laura's Window, on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Facebook. And right now, this is the platform that I use and then I upload it to the others, is Spreaker. And it's on the Spreaker Studio, which you, you spell it S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. And this is where you can find me. And on here, if you look me up, You'll have to log in and put a password, your own password in. And then when you finally get on, you'll be able to see all my episodes and you'll be able to interact with me. You'll be able to share comments and be able to see every time I post something, it'll come directly to your email. And this is how you look me up for that. It's www.spreaker.com slash user slash Laura Conrad. It's www.spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R dot com slash user, S-U-E-R slash Laura Conrad. Just look me up there and I would love for you to start following me either, you know, Spotify, whatever is good for you. Um, iHeartRadio, Facebook, you just look me up on there. Or if you would, even better, if you go to um, Apple Podcasts, I do have a few people I can see that are listening, um, and I have some reviews, but no written reviews. If you would go on there, if you do any kind of listening on the Apple Podcast and, and you do iTunes, if you would look me up on there, give me a written review and tell me what you think. Um, Every time somebody gives me a written review, that gets me out there even more. And I would really like to get this podcast out there more for people to be able to see, pull it up and hear it. So I um, appreciate all you do. I appreciate all that are listening. And I hope you have a great day. Till next time. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.